by removing the bay shields. If I can get them off. And in this, in this particular case, the sliders for the CD drives come in the back of the bay shield. So these will get removed from here. This we don't need anymore, really. Um, and you'll note that I don't need the electrostatic discharge band for this because I'm not really working with the motherboard yet or any open circuits. These will get mounted onto each CD drive here and here, and then they just slide into the front of the bay. And I'm not using the top bay because that's where some of the components for the uh, water cooling system are. Okay. Now you're going to have to experiment with where you want the holes based on where you want CD in the case. Okay, so we have the drive rails installed on both of our disk drives now, and we're just going to slide them into the case. And you should hear them snap in, like that. And then just slide it in. And once again, you should hear it click, and there you go. Okay, next we're going to install the floppy drive and the memory card reader. And in this particular case, it's very easy. You just pull out this drive cage where they both get installed, and you can just slide it back in. In some other cases, you might have to screw them in from the inside, but either way, it's basically the same concept. Another thing you're going to want to keep in mind when you're building a computer is to not use a magnetic screwdriver because it could potentially cause damage to the hard drive, which would obviously be bad. Okay, so we're going to remove these shields here. Let's take the CD drive shields, slide in floppy drive, put the memory card reader in. Okay, so we have the floppy drive and the memory card reader screwed into the bay. And now we're just going to slide it in. I'm going to pass this wire through first. And that's, that's all set. And once again, you should hear it click.